that sign, my brother Pete was a real good buddy of the king. In fact, it was he who bought him this place. Anyways, I met Elvis through my brother, who'd been with him since high school. They were real close. He even joined the goddamn army with him. Back then, we all hung out together. We were tight. Tighter than Dolly Parton's bra strap. There was Pete, of course. Gee, boss, look at them faggots go. And then there was the king himself. Where are the goddamn space aliens at in this goddamn thing? It depends you have Not forgetting Elvis's dearest, Gladys. Not strictly one of the guys, but sober, sweet, and loving. All around you, son! All around you! And then there's me. Quite the scholar I was in them days. Always had my nose in a book. <laughs> I got to know Elvis pretty well, too. Till eventually, I became one of the team. The Memphis Mafia. As we like to call ourselves. And boy, did we have a ball. The chicks we got across. For a while back there, me and Pete saw more ass in the toilet seat. I'll make one of these up every morning for Elvis. Just in case. There's this big old lime tree. And one late August afternoon in 1970, me, Elvis, and my kid brother Pete are using it for a spot of target practice. We got beer cans, Coke bottles, and itty bitty cutie teddy bears that the fans are always sending in for Elvis, and we're blasting away like it's going out of fashion. Time, Gladys, Elvis's mom, staggers out of the back kitchen. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. We got us some all kinds of wine here, all right. We got sham, and we got pain. Oh, Elvis, can I please send have a try? Oh, uh, yeah, sure thing, Ma, but uh, you gotta set up the targets first. Okay, Lord, then! <laughs> Let's do it up now! <laughs> Gladys climbs the ladder, and a little twig picks up the hem of her knife. Now, me, Pete, and Elvis, we get a good long look at her fat, wrinkly butt. Then Elvis selects a 30 odd six from the table, raises the rifle to his shoulder. Well, ain't that something? I thought, well, dang me to hell and back, he's going to shoot his own mommy. We run over, and when we get to where the drunken old bird is having her shit fit, we see that she's completely covered in ants. I reckon they must have smelled the booze on her and figured she was lunch. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Huh? Elvis. Yeah, Mama? Have I got something in my... So me and Pete 
make a run for the kitchen to fetch buckets of water. When we get back, it's quiet. Too late, guys. She's gone. And boy, was it too late. And holy shit, Leroy. was she gone. Leroy. Damnedest thing I ever saw. Leroy. Huh. Hey, Earl. What can I get you? Give me a goddamn coffee, Leroy. Like I've been asking for the last ten fucking minutes. Oh, yeah, sure, Earl. Hey, you know I spent some time with Elvis, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Did I tell you about the monkey? For the love of God, Leroy, can you fix me a coffee? A few months before, Elvis... Oh, shit.